Hi, Coach Joe Lucas, and welcome to the Magellan Network Show. For nearly 30 years, I have been focused on helping advisors become the best, both personally and professionally. This show is dedicated to sharing with you tools, tips, strategies, distinctions, things that are working now. I'd love for you to take a moment, and if you're watching this on YouTube, click the like button and also the subscribe button so you get automatic updates. And if you happen to be listening to us on a podcast, make sure you're subscribed to the podcast and you leave a positive review for us. Now, with that said, let's get to today's episode. Hi, this is Coach Joe Lucas, and welcome to this episode of the Magellan Network Show. This episode, we're going to do part two of how to get off to a great start in 2022. And if you missed part one, make sure you go back and watch or listen to it. Click our subscribe buttons. We want to make sure you don't miss a single episode of what we're going to do this year inside of our show. And uh, with that, let's continue our conversation. So one of the things that's critically important, and uh, it's a core process, a core protocol, or if you will, one of our one of our tenants inside of Magellan Network is reinvesting back in yourself. So one of the things that we strongly encourage, if I can mandate it, I would, is that every advisor needs to take, listen up, it's important, between five and 10% of your top line, okay? So if you're doing, you know, let's keep the math still, if you're doing a million dollars, it's gonna be between 50,000 and 100,000 um, dollars. If you're doing, obviously just do the math below, and you're going to use that as a line item in your business to improve you, to make you the best version of you. Now, why? There's a massive misconception in our industry, and that massive misconception is this, that I can go ahead as an advisor and market my financial planning process, my wealth management flow charts, uh, my asset management game, uh, our software, all those things, and we're gonna make that, or the team, and we're gonna make that the issue. Big problem. That will become extremely valuable once the relationship is established. However, it will not initiate the relationship. At the end of every situation, at the end of every day, what matters is that you are the initial core product. So in other words, you're selling you. You're selling you as the advisor, as the team leader, as the owner, as the founder, you're the face of the firm, you're the social media person, the LinkedIn profile, the main, main uh, person on the website, it's you. And don't you wanna have the best possible product out there in the marketplace, this hyper-competitive marketplace? So I would encourage you to come up with a personal, development game plan. This is, one, this is one of our Magellan Core Fives. You reinvest five to 10% of your top line back into you. Now, what do you do with that? You personal trainer, nutritionist, you know, for some of you, maybe it's a stylist. Hopefully some coaching is involved, some training, some conferences, or all that falls underneath there. So you wanna to go to a conference, that's part of your personal development budget. You need to get some CE credits and you gotta go buy a course. That's part of your personal professional development get budgets. Personal professional development to me are one and the same. So you hear terminology, it's not a second line item. Personal professional development budget, five to 10%. Now I've been doing this for decades. I've been advocating it for decades. Here's the cool part. Now obviously when you start in your career, right? Maybe your, your first year you do $100,000. Well, that's gonna give you, you know, that's not gonna give you a, a ton of money, right? It's gonna give you 5K to 10K. But I'll tell you what, you can get some great online coaching that way, maybe attend a conference or two, uh, get some e-courses, learn, right? Boy, when you get to a million, when you're doing seven-figure top line and all of a sudden your PD budget's six figures, let me tell you something. You can do some lot, you can do some really cool things. You can go hire the best coaches, you know, attend the best conferences, best trainings, uh, join the top mastermind groups. Gives you everything. You're reinvesting back in yourself. Hear me on this for 2022. One of the biggest mistakes, blind spots I see in our industry, advisors are not willing to A, reinvest back in themselves, and B, reinvest back in their business. What they tend to do is squander their money 
by buying a second car, a second home, you know, just squandering their capital and not reinvesting it back in themselves and in their business. Now, it doesn't mean that you should live frugally like in a tent or anything like that. But let's be prudent. The number one reason why a business fails globally is lack of capital. In our industry, we don't fail. We just don't grow. We become like zombie businesses, right? It's just you look at somebody's production over a decade, and it, 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 there's, no, there's no breakthroughs. It just kind of meanders. Some, some years better than others. Commit, commit to making 2022 the year that you're going to determine and move towards the best version of you. I strongly encourage you to do that. Next, what separates an advisor who struggles in growing their business and an advisor who doesn't? Is it, is, it, is it how smart they are? No. Is it how committed they are? No. You could be a really committed person. Discipline? Nope. You know what it comes down to? Marketing and branding and business development. Three things. Okay? In our world today, remember, now we can go back. I don't care. Look, I've been coaching since the early 90s. So, you know, that's almost 30 years now. I can go back to 1993. How did advisors grow their businesses? They really did it. There was only, you cold called? Maybe you cold walked? We were seeing the beginnings of seminars, referrals. Okay? Now, let's look what we have today. Oh, maybe some COIs. Excuse me. All those things are still possible. You can still cold call. You can still cold walk, right? You can still ask for referrals, right? You can still do seminars, right? You can still go ahead and get COIs. But now we do. Now we got digital. We got podcasting. Uh, you know, we've got social media. We've got all these online now, all these people selling these turnkey, you know, funnel systems to go get prospects and go hire third party people uh, to go ahead and pr produce leads for you. I mean, it's just everywhere, right? But here's the reality you have to become a master of marketing. I don't care if you're a solopreneur. Like, you've got to learn how to develop business from your client base. Have to learn how to develop uh, introductions and referrals from your client base, nurture other professional COI relationships, and and get out there in the expert slash guru space, which makes a lot of you very uncomfortable. But it's necessary because that gives you a competitive advantage. So you have to become marketers. You have to understand your brand. You have to understand business development. Now, what, real quick, the difference between the three. Marketing is about messaging. Newsletters, video, podcast, audio, blog posting, whatever you do. Branding is about how things look. Your website, your LinkedIn profile, right? Your Facebook business page, whatever else you got going, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, wherever else, TikTok, who knows? How's it look? Is it, is it congruent? Does it have the right, me the brand is about the messaging, right? What your, what makes you unique? What makes you better? What makes you superior, right? Business development is what I call trench warfare. Sourcing a name from a client, getting, a, getting their account from a competitor, optimization, right? Leveraging out to their, their CPA, their attorney, their coach, whoever else is out there in their space. Commit to 2022 becoming proficient in these areas and staying the course. Because let me say this, the other thing I see is advisors quit too soon. The, the, the level of impatience inside of our community, inside of our profession is incredible. I would encourage you all to take a long-term approach. Long-term approach. Do not measure results on marketing and branding in a 30-day window, a 90-day window, a 180-day window, or 365. Commit to it as part of what you do. I see in my client base, well, podcasting doesn't work. Well, what do you want it to do, right? And what we don't understand when we're doing it, we're teaching. See, anytime you put content out there, it's an opportunity to showcase not only your expertise, 
but who you are as a person and profession. Remember, they gotta like you before they listen to you. And so many of you are caught up in trying to be smart that you're not approachable. You know, I never reshoot one of these episodes. I screw up all the time. I'm not trying to be polished here. The way I'm talking inside of this conversation is the way I talk to my clients. It just is. From the heart. Without, you know, oh, we got to do that takeover, or I put an extra two in the, two, two, you know, 2022, two, right? All that stuff. I'm being authentic. Learn to be authentic. Some of you, and I, some of you, I see your stuff on LinkedIn. You're trying to be so polished instead of being so authentic. Authentic will win a hundredfold over being polished. So be you. Don't try to be somebody else. What else do you need to do to have a rock star 2022 or get off to a great start? Is commit, like we said in part one, to really making this the heaviest contact month of the year. Like I'm saying, shake the entire damn tree. Everybody, do it. Create momentum. You know, massive action cures all slumps. Massive action also initiates massive momentum. So if you're not happy with your results, you know, or you're you're fearful, like how am I going to do this again? How am I? I like I said here in my personal conversation with clients, man, how are we going to go? How, Joe, Joe, how how do we how are we going to top 2021? I said, declare that you will. Make that your commitment. We may not know how we're going to do. It. We don't know what the opportunity is going to present ourselves. So, Gee, it's only the first week of January, right? But I know if you have an intent and, have a, and if you have a strong level of intentionality, all things are possible. And that's what we need to be doing. That's what you need to be doing. I, I just want to encourage you to do a couple other things real quick. Take care of your people. So you're, look, we're all leaders. And let me, you know, this will hold probably a whole nother, whole nother episode. I find most advisors, when I say, hey, describe who you are and what you do, the word leader and coach does not really show up very often very high. And that's a big, glaring blind spot. You lead. You, I don't care if you share a part-time assistant in a major firm or you're running a team of 25. You're a leader. You lead your tribe. You also need to be a leader of your clients. Like inside of my tribe, Magellan Network, I understand I'm the leader. It's me. I drive that. I'm responsible. I'm responsible for the successes. I own the failures. I lead myself. I own the successes. I own the failures. Coach, teacher. Educate your clients. Make a commitment in 2022 to become the educator, the voice to your clients. Because look, if you're not the voice, where are they going to get their information from? Oh, everywhere and anywhere, the TV, God help us, the internet, right? And you wonder why your clients are reaching out to you, talking to you about crypto or can I buy some digital real estate, which is a whole new thing I didn't even know existed you know, a couple weeks ago, right? And all this other stuff that's out there. Wouldn't you rather be the one being the teacher, the coach, the leader to your clients? So one of the things that I talk about, I'm going to share this with you all. At least once a quarter, I would refer once a month that you either host and teach or host and bring an outside expert in and create a series of Zooms or whatever tool you have, WebEx, doesn't matter, but create online learning opportunities where you can teach your clients. Some advisors are fearful of educating their clients because they're under the concept that if I make them smart, they don't need me anymore. Trust me, they didn't hire you because of your four PhDs and your three MBAs. They hired because they want someone to have their back. Now, do they think that you're capable and competent? Yes, otherwise they want to give you their money. But make no mistake, they didn't hire you because of your intelligence, which I know for some of you, it's like, I can't believe you just said that. How do you measure it, right? Now think about that. 
think, think about if clients hired advisors slowly, only solely by designation and academic backgrounds. 90% of, our, 90% of our industry would disappear in the next 30 days. And by the way, I've worked with some of those people that have all those credentials, all those advanced degrees. And you know what? They can't relate to most people and they couldn't sell the, they couldn't sell their way out of a paper bag. And a lot of them struggle in this industry. So don't get caught up with, you know, oh man, this person's got a PhD or an MBA or JD and all this other stuff. Sometimes they're the most unsuccessful people in our space, this, as an FYI. And, if, and if, if one of you identifies as that and you're crushing it, that's great. That means you've developed the other side of your game too. So it's not, again, it's not a death sentence. I have to understand that's not the only game, the only important part. Okay? So you want to be out there educating. You need to be doing that. Right? You've got to understand, you've got to become the teacher to your clients. Some, a lot of, you know, when we were business planning a couple of weeks, a couple of months ago in November, and, uh, and we did a live stream, you know, somebody asked me, what's the differential going forward in the industry, right? Um, you know, because look, we, you know, we have, everybody talks about financial planning. Well, that's going to become, you know, commoditized. Uh, asset management, that's going to become commoditized, is becoming commoditized. So what's left? What, where's the differentials? It's the, it's the coaching teacher identity. When you coach and teach your clients and you relate to them, that will never be commoditized. That will never be roboed, right? Like, you know, I hope by now this industry has gotten over the whole robo thing. It is not, I mean, it may reiterate down the road a little bit differently, but I just don't see it. I mean, if, if somebody's gonna give their money to an algorithm, they don't want a relationship anyway. And what a, what's the business we're in? We're in the relationship business. I guess that's the last thing I want to talk about. Understand what business you're in in 2022. You're in the relationship business. You're in the outcome business. You're in the uh, having the back business of your clients. Spend more time with them. Call them. Wish them a happy holiday, happy birthday, happy anniversary. You know, invest in relational capital, which is a term. What's relational capital? Just my term for goodwill. Relational capital is what our businesses are built on. It is not the assets that you have or how much money or how much money you're top lining or how many clients you have. That's not the real value of your business. The real value of your business is how much relational capital you have in each one of your client relationships. Never forget that, okay? So that is our game plan. That is our approach to 2022. Again, if there's anything I can do for you, any topic you want me to cover, any resource I can provide, uh, there'll be two links here. Uh, we're still, our business planning process is still open in November, uh, January 15th, we close it and it won't open again until November. So if you want access to it, there's a countdown. You need to get in there today. And lastly, if any of this makes sense, I encourage you to come check out MagellanNetwork.net. Come check out our tribe. Maybe it will serve you, maybe it won't. It's not going to cost you anything to find out. And why don't you do something different in 2022 and maybe bring in some, a different dynamic into your world, into your space, me. And let me help you make 2022 your best year ever. Thank you for watching or listening to this episode of the Magellan Network Show. Hey, if any of this resonated with you, I invite you to come to MagellanNetwork.net and we have a powerful group coaching community of like-minded advisors. Come in for a trial. You and I will have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Let's see if I can help elevate your game both personally and professionally.